Hey there! This command line basics video is going to be about SSH and SCP. SSH is, uh, stands for Secure Shell and is a way for you to remotely access a server and then have a full command line access available to you. And then the other is SCP, uh, which stands for Secure Copy, uh, and this is a great way to, to move files around back and forth uh, and is much more secure than something like FTP. So we're going to start off, I'm in terminal, my command line on my local machine, uh, which is named Beach, and uh, I'm going to SSH so that I can connect to a remote server. And the first thing I need is the username on that, on that server, which is tester, and then at, and then put the actual address of where I'm going. Sometimes this will be an IP address, but oftentimes you can use the domain name. Now when I hit enter and tried to connect here, it said it refused that because it wasn't connecting to port 22, which is the default port for SSH. So sometimes when you get connection information, they'll tell you you have a port number um, because it's something other than 22, and that's important. So the way we add that information is, the beginning of my command here, I'm going to put a dash P for port, and then just type in the number. So I can connect, and I'm just telling SSH specifically to use this port on the server to get in. So when I do that, now it works. Uh, it prompts me for my password, um, which I'll go ahead and type in. And now I'm actually on my remote server. I'm not on my local desktop anymore on this command line. So you can see this is telling me my location. Uh, it's not my local. So I have full command line access now on a server somewhere out in, uh, I don't know, St. Louis, uh, Texas, I'm not sure. So uh, if I do a working directory here, I can see I'm in my home directory. Um, I have a folder in here, and I can move around and pretty much do what I want to uh, from the command line, uh, given the permissions that I have for this particular user on this server. Uh, so the thing I want to do now is actually go and find uh, something that I want to actually download to my local machine from the remote. I want to grab this files directory, because um, there's a bunch of files on the server. I don't have them locally. I'm just going to copy those down. Um, typically you would probably use something like FTP for that, um, but we're going to use SCP because it's cooler. Um, I can go in and, uh, you know, get an individual file if I wanted, uh, or you can go in and get an entire directory. And so I'm going to want to get the files directory. Um, one thing we'll need to know is the path. So I have this path in my prompt, uh, but if I do a uh, print working directory here, I need the full path all the way from the root of the server. So I'm just going to copy this so I can paste it later so I don't have to remember all of this and type it in because that's a real pain. So I've copied the path to the thingy that I want on my remote server. I'm going to exit and that logs me out of the remote server and now you can see I'm back on my local machine. So let me clear this out and uh, let's look at SCP. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is, uh, like previously, I'm going to type the letters SCP, that's my actual command. And then uh, before I start actually writing it out for real, we need to put two locations in, and we need to put from and then to. That's the order they have to go in. So wherever I'm copying from and then where it's going to. Now I'm copying from the remote server where I just was logged in previously. Um, so I need to give it the full information. It needs to know what server and how to access it. So I need to put in my user at and then the address on the web and then that's the server. A colon to say okay that's the server information. Now where on that server am I going? And that's where I'm going to paste in the, the uh, path that I had just previously copied. Now I could just type in a particular file name if I just wanted one file I could just put that in here um, but I actually want to get the, the whole files directory so I'm gonna leave it with what I've pasted uh, and then the second part so all of that is the, the from location the second part is to location so I just want to download this, load this locally to my laptop onto the desktop so that's just a local path because I'm on my my local machine and it knows where that is now I have this files directory I want rather than an individual file so like other things in, uh, in on the command line, I need to tell the command to do this recursively because otherwise it's just going to want one thing. So let's walk through this command. scp-r means recursive because I'm getting a directory instead of an individual file. Then I'm saying this is the actual server that I want to connect to. This is where my from is. 
um, I put the colon in there and then this is the actual directory I want. This whole thing is from, so I'm telling it to copy recursively from that address and then to is simply to my desktop here and that's the path for that. So that's my command, but we have one last thing I need to do because remember we have a port on this. This is using the same port as SSH, it's using the same connection. You have to use a capital P with SCP. I used a lowercase p with SSH. It's just the way it is. Capital P in the port number and now when I enter I get prompted for my password just like with SSH and bam it just went ahead and downloaded everything. So now if you go over and look on my desktop I have a files directory and the three files that were on my server are now copied down, not moved, but copied down to my local machine and I can do what I want with them now. So it's that simple, that fast. Um, and then we can just, uh, I'll just show you here. Remember it's the whole from too. So if I had something on my laptop that I wanted to send to the remote machine, I would just change the order. I would put my, my path here on my local machine. So like it would be desktop files. Um, and then I would then give the connection information and the location on the remote server to go to. So just remember SCP from to recursive if you have a directory and put in a port number if you need that. And that's all it takes to access a remote server in a very secure way. Oh,